Hey, it's Cool here if you don't know, and welcome back to the long run where we are playing Ross Code. That I mean cross code. But let's just do a thing. So last time we got to the mouth of the temple mine. This time we're going into the temple mine. There's gonna be a race between myself and this lady. She's almost definitely gonna win. Let's go. Alright then, here comes a big one, yeah? I think we're ready now. Should we enter the dungeon? Alright, let the race begin! So, I am going to be attempted to win the race, and we can come back and uh, do the various things that you can do in this dungeon after uh, can't really do it. Laser TND. Uh, how do I. Unless I need to. There we go. Put that on the mat. Push that over there. Just off the ledge. Game's a bit too loud. Oh, sorry. I forgot to turn this down. That should hopefully be better. I think we also need to push this over here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Simple enough puzzle. I give up the mine key. And how we use keys here, we stand on the uh, e pedestal and then throw. It's a weird way to do it, but it works. Let's see. Using your hands to open a door is so last year. Um, I'm gonna use this owl over here. Should just about do it. Might need some adjustments. Or might not. I was dead on. That was in combat.
pretty simple combat to start with. But now the elevator has been enabled. Oh, hi. You guys want to fight. Thing. There we go. Accidentally uh, back straight my uh, my way out the door. only hit one once. That includes punching it. So we might need to like do something like that. There we go. You can use the ice to kind of make it go a little farther. not gonna work to get that. Oh, I see it, okay. Also gotta remember that I can just hit the thing again to uh, set it off. But in Manuki, how's it going, Jewel? Why did you make it? Now we can use a switch to go this way. Dying? Don't do that. That's not good for your health. Jump over. I just have to bank it like that. Well, not from not from this lower platform. There we go. I'll do it. Hey, Mazzy, how you doing? Glad you could make it as well. So that gave us a key. Uh, Jewel, I didn't do anything. If, if the quality is better, then that's good, but I literally did not do anything.
Oh, don't worry, it probably will. Oh, that was too late. Now we go across. Nope, that didn't do it. Okay, so what we need to do here is not do that. There we go. Time it right, and the key is yours. Oh, that's cool. That's just right, there we go. Oh, okay. So we'll let it go until here, then hit it. That should take us to the end of the boat. Oh, that's a hole. Okay. There we go. Got it. Um, let's get over here. Yeah, the, the dungeon design is not bad. Some of the later puzzles get a little hectic, I guess you could say. Dang it. So now those are broken. I should be able to just cross here. Oh. Hmm. There we go. This reminds you of Turtle Rock. It's an interesting point of comparison. <laughs> Alright, so that'll take us back to the elevator. And we get a DL. Hey Leah, how did, how's it going? I just need a short breather. This dungeon is pretty long, no? By the way, we did season 2, right? You know, them. The bugs. I hate those things. I mean, they're huge, but also quick and twitchy. And there are just so many of them. Yeah, I really don't like bugs, Paldo. I guess I just felt like talking about it. Anyway, those things will not stop me. The race is still on. So let's try floor two, which seems, for the most part, frozen solid. Baguette pumps pit. Yeah, sure. Oh right, I can I can throw BRP with these things and make them go. Uh, let's see. How do I want to arrange this? I can't do that. I can do that. This, this, and this. But now, how do I get you out of there? Uh, 
Stop that puzzle. Let's see. Also, yeah, I am I'm doing my best with the accents, but I know like I'm definitely not a master of accents. And you don't want me to start talking my native French accent because that's not like France French. needed to do that mist. Oh jeez, I I broke you. Dang it. Friggin' battles on ice. What? I disagree, Aim. But we have learned an important lesson right there. Is that you can beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. By which I mean you can uh, explode a bomb into a bomb and project that second bomb out somewhere. I think that's about all we can do for now on this floor. Also, sorry if I'm not like super responsive to chat. I am trying my best, but I am also trying to win this race. Uh, do I want to use that key yet? Not really sure. So as previously as previously established, you can use the height to make. The bombs go a little farther out. Go, please. fire on the bomb will project it like that. Which is something we need to actually do right here. Provided I can do this correctly. There we go. Those. Now the thing to note about this guy
Aside from the fact that it spits fire like a like a jerk. Is the fact that it will occasionally spit bombs. And right now that is our only source of bombs. Which means that's what we have to use to get through this. If we accidentally defeat this guy, another one will spawn. So it's not it's not a wash if we uh if we kill it. Come on. Give me a bomb. Thank you. Oh. Now we do have to actually defeat it. And it won't respawn now that we've done the uh the actual puzzle. Okay, so that takes us back there. Come on. There we go. Can I bank this? Sure can. Only bank it a couple of times. After I bank it like that. Yeah, that works. Kind of. Well, whatever. I cleared one of them. That's good enough. Okay. Now I should be able to just go here and destroy all of these. And jump down, take damage, that's perfectly fine. As long as we can run over here. Take damage, save time. That's a speed run away. But now you'll start to discover an interesting fact about some of the ice in this game. Ow. Not really sure what I was trying to accomplish there. Fell down. Fine. Nice balls, huh? Indeed. This is unpleasant. Bank this in a very specific way. There we go, got it. And then Leah, please. Dang it. It's not how you win a race. Okay, this is this is very unpleasant. Using the, um, the elemental 
elemental bubble. Definitely a good um, strategy to have going into this fight. Because these little buggers are um, not great with fire. No more will spawn. Okay, so I think now we have the three keys that we need. There is only the singular uh, keypad, a key pedestal. So we gotta throw in all of our keys from there. There we go. Oh dear, I've been clipped. Threat detected. Mini boss time. to get used to this boss again. The idea is to um, deal with as many of the bugs as you can after excising them from the uh, main robot body here. Attacking from the back is most effective. Ow. It has been a while since I've fought this boss. did anything in that phase. Got the break. Come on. Got the break. And now this guy is going to be a lot more vicious. Crossco does feel super great, honestly. Yeah, 
and it feels a lot better um, playing with the controller than playing with the keyboard like I originally did. Thanks for dropping by, Mazzy. Hope you have a good night. I seem to recall this one actually taking me a good few tries my first time, but at the same time, it's like, as a reminder, I was playing with keyboard and mouse, and that's not really the most recommended way to play. It wasn't as comfortable to uh, pull off dashing. Oh, no, didn't get the break, I got the defeat. And we got this. Heat mode activated. Which activates an entire new circuit panel. So press down to switch to heat mode at any time. Press down again to switch back to neutral mode. Doing actions in element mode will increase your element load. Your element load is displayed around the element mo uh, mode symbol. If your element load fills up, you reach the elemental overload, which temporarily blocks the use of all element modes. Your element load will steadily decrease in neutral mode. The best approach to quickly decrease your load is to deal damage in neutral mode. Uh, the elements are um, fire, ice. Um, yeah, they're basic. They're basically the uh, the usual, but they don't follow the usual structure. Fire beats ice. Ice beats fire. It's weird. Anyway, um, actually, before we continue, I'm gonna go ahead and load this up a little bit. Uh, how did I? It's weird. Okay. So this is my guard art, this is my dash art, this is my melee art. I want to build toward my melee art first. Let's go fire world. 
And because the circuit pan the circuit panels for elements are much bigger than I'm sorry, I didn't get your pun. But because the uh, the circuit panels for elements are much bigger than the neutral one, uh, you get a lot less um, circuit point cost. Should mine place some mine? Yeah. Go that. And right now we can't actually go into these. Uh, we'll be able to soon enough. Let's see. I don't really care much for guard art. Not really something that I ever use. Also, that there is also there is always one art in every um, in every circuit panel that kind of gets shafted. Uh, the throw art for fire only goes up to level. Other arts can go up higher. I'm go with that. More defense, sure. Oh, more attack. Yes, more attack. And uh, your circuit points are also... Like, right now I have 18 circuit points, but I have 18 circuit points per board. So I can also spend some circuit points on this one. Yeah, I think that looks good. And guard arts, oh, basically just same as same as you'd probably expect. All right. So now we can just melt these without needing to. Um, have an elemental bubble, which means that we can just go through this. The race is still happening, Joel. Okay, let's see. I seem to recall the solution to this puzzle being kind of weird. It, it basically comes down to, it's a time trial. Why did you not jump down? I... What we gotta do is put a thing down there, then move it over here so it blows up over there. Will I be close enough? I won't. Now I'm good enough. No! It didn't actually, uh... How to deal with this? Not gonna work. Okay. What 
if I did this? I should still be able to jump that. But I shouldn't be able to knock this on there. There we go. Oops. Not gonna win a race by uh, running into walls. It's a trap. What a surprise. Wasn't expecting that, but okay. Oh, another one of these. But the main difference is uh, it's not gonna summon full minions. No, we just got the key to open that. <laughs> Never mind. Um. Okay, so we can do this. What else do we need to do? Okay. Oh, and there's another block there that I completely didn't notice until just now. Finally. 
There might be a better way to do this, but this is the way that I figured here. That I think should be able to get us across. Let's give it a try. Yep. Our goal is to put a block here so that this thing is open. Block over here. I gotta be able to move that one, but and then this block. And this should make it to the goal. Interesting way to do a uh, block pushing puzzle. And I've already missed my shot. Come on. Keep aim low. And I hit the corner again. Cool. Just the right way, there we go. Oh, no! God dang it! Take me back over there. Okay, now I see what I want to do. I'll jump over here. Then once it gets over there. There we go. Uh, well, um, okay. Get ready for fight, I guess. Or not? Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, 
the nice thing is you, you get that little um, that little border effect when your uh, elemental charge starts to get too high. That gives us a level up and a way back to the teleporter. Which I promptly ignore. Wow, okay. Okay, well we got a bit of an ice situation going on here. And the ice regenerates. It's that cold down here. both of those? I sure can. Hmm. Oh, hi. Alright, so I think what I want to do... That's the basic idea. There we go. Okay, let's see. Okay. Can I bank this? Smashing random things is usually going to end up um, in fighting a battle with something. Uh, I think there's also a door here. There sure is. Alright, so this is find the bugs. Should let us jump across. Also, oh geez, I 
Ah, I figured there might be a bug. found the remaining box. There they all are. And that gives us a chest. Why is the fire element in the ice area? That's a good question. Ooh, level 25. I lose HP region though, and status men. I think I'll hold off, because that's... Is that the only thing giving me HP re region right now? How much do I have? Yeah, I have 18% and it's entirely my boots. to remember what it is I'm supposed to be doing here. I think that's basically it. Am I going to be close enough? It is. Let's hit that. So we got a bunch of keys. First we want to go up here. Because we're also trying to unblock this path. That should now be unblocked completely. Whoa! Let's see what's over here. Unfortunately, it didn't start us back at the beginning or something.
Uh, cool. All right. Okay, that works. That doesn't work. All right. Should just be able to loop back around here. Yeah, you get, like you get an HP hit, but you regenerate HP out of battle so fast that it doesn't really matter. another key. I think that's all the keys for down here. everywhere in all the rooms below rocks inside eggs on freaking tiny icy platforms why would they do this to me sacre bleu dungeon is the worst anyway race still on not gonna give up First thing is to unlock all of these. Uh, are there any more? I think that's everything. As usual, the goal is to um, hit all of the triangle things and finish here. Um. So I think I want to start with this one. Yeah. Oops. Also turn off my fire element. I don't accidentally overload myself. There, I'll need to clear these. Um, that Oops. Ah. 
trying to avoid that happening. Okay. That was the first one of those. It won't be the last one. Oh dear, that, that's a big number. I didn't mean to guard there. And to 18, and this is probably all of them. Oh, now we have one left. Oh, there it is. We're just kind of stuck in a glitch there. Alright, that gives us the master key. Oops. So now I gotta take this master key and bring it back to the top of the dungeon. So that we can face the dungeon boss. Throwing bombs again. Just barely. Oh, geez. Okay, so that does that. Again. So I just need to get to the get It's not staying stunned this time. But that's okay. I tried to do a fire dash against that, but that didn't work so well. And I need a couple more hits to break that shield. Alright. That was not safe. 
Probably should eat a sandwich. And that... Oh, just didn't make it. Sandwich. Make the boss like the mini boss, but bigger. There we go. Let's see if we, uh, if we won the race. We did it! Haha! <laughs> In those bugs we seriously what was up with that battle for the master key why they designed this dungeon after my worst nightmares oh well i'll get you next time hmm, but this room is strange no i didn't expect it i didn't expect to see other players within the dungeon i guess rooms like these are simply not instanced anyway I think we should check out that statue up there. You can indeed lose the race, and in my original in my original playthrough, I did not win a single race. These mountains stood for eons, nearly unchanged. Their frozen crown shimmering in the sun. Among these heights and hurdles, you persevered. Wielding the blazing flames, you cleave through rice and stone alike. You, the traveler, the envoy of change. You have proven yourself worthy. Take the shade and continue on your journey. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Congratulations, Seeker. You've reached the first milestone of Operation Track War. With the blue ice shade, you can now access Maroon Valley to the west of Burke. Therein awaits your next destination, the Fyro Temple, housing the second element, Hope. Oh. To proceed, seek an audience with the Eldress of the local village, Baki Kun. Take this reward for your accomplishments. So we get a circuit override, which allows us to reset any circuit board, any circuit board one time. As just explained there. Visit the first basement, uh, the first basement floor of the Info Hub in Rookie Harbor to use it. That is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. Bird people. Bird people in space. So that's the ancients? Fair enough. Hello. Oh, you see those rotating info things? I bet those have all the info about the ancients we need. Don't forget about the, about the quiz. So yes, we do actually need to read these and try to take in as much of this information as we can, because we will be asked questions. Diaro is the creator of Solid Surface. His powers could form the most majestic mountains and freeze the, the vastest of seas. Indeed, his creations are enduring and overwhelming sights to behold, yet motionless and without life. So, Diaro, Solid Surfaces. Well, it's not really a surprising exam. 
We, we know exactly that there will be an exam. We have been told about this. Enel is the goddess of shape, the mistress of the flame and creator of the sun. Yet she was envious of her fellow gods who created fascinating shapes and worlds full of life and color. She longed to take part, adding a warming fire to these worlds, yet her flame was too mighty and consumed all in its path. It was then when Diaro had a proposal. He shaped a sphere with an empty core and several holes surrounded by high mountains. And now filled this shape with her flame, creating a world with a heated core and life on its surface. Today, every volcano is a record of Enel and Diara working in union. Life on Shadun has prospered, and Diorbus felt that, uh, felt that our kind was ready to start our journey. Diara, however, did not agree. He still saw our kind as infants crawling over the majestic surface he created. Please, can you avoid shoving me around like that? I'm reading here. Diorbus then pointed to Shadun and asked Diaro to watch. Diaro saw how our kind climbed the highest of mountains and reached the very bottom of the sea. Diaro was shocked yet proud of our achievements. Reluctantly, he agreed that, that indeed we have been ready to start our journey. Diaro then prepared an envelope of solid rock and ice used to send the message of the sky. It all started when Diorbus, the ethereal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shape. Diaro is one of those gods, the god of the square, and the creator of solid surface. Alright, just read everything there is. We should head back to the first scholar's HQ and take that quiz. Look at this guy meditating. Water, frozen water, solid as rock, smooth as silk, slippery. Way too slippery. Hmm. There usually is an exit here, but I guess we just gotta go out the front door, which is not that big of a deal. So now that the race is over, we can actually take our time and get this, uh, this stuff that's been pinging around here, which will let us uh, finish quests. There should be one piece of equipment here. That's probably over here. Nope, that's one of the three golden triangles. Ah, here it is. Not too loud, Nintendo will hear. Um, okay. Go around here, we should get this and this. Bug shells. Go up here first. All the puzzles here will also remain in their solved state, so we don't need to solve anything again. You can if you want to, because it did reset the block that just allows us to proceed without having to um, to resolve the puzzle. Ah. Uh, 
here it is. So if we go from over here. There we go. Um, looks like I didn't actually put it in my thing here. There we go. So now we have an idea of how far along we are. We need to find five more things. Takes us back around there. Oh. Yeah, we can get that chest now. Which should be pretty easy. A couple of things like that. And we can just hop over here. Get a couple of blue orbs. Ripping off Time Spinner before it even came to be. Yes, there's one here. And there it is. Uh-oh. Just went back the wrong way. Okay, cool. How do I get up there? Ah, eh, whatever. some equipment here. There it is. That's a laser pickaxe. I don't know why everything is lasers. Also, I do want to break these because they do count toward botanic. This path. Nothing obvious right away. And that's, yeah, that's the, the looping path. There is one thing here, and it's up on that ledge. There we go. I don't think there's any other doors here. Oh, there is this one. Get us up on this ledge. And we don't really need to go to right now. We've already opened up this path. We can just run on through. This is where the mini boss was. Oh, 
We're gonna end up missing one. I just know it. Mega Egg Pot A. Now how are we doing on botanics? It's mostly the small ones that we uh that we're missing. We got all the big ones. Um I don't think there would be one in this room, no. I'm also just doing the one pass for everything. If I have missed something, then too bad, I guess. And that's just going back to the simple room. I don't think there are any other paths in that room. I've just missed something somewhere. And in the interest of keeping the stream going here, I'm just gonna get it if that's the case. Yeah, there's nothing here either. Yeah, here we are back in this room. I don't think there's anything up here. There is one thing, but that still doesn't change the fact that I'm going to be missing something. Unless it's in that room up there. That one there. Why am I in combat? Oh, hi. Okay, there it is. There's just one mining dock left. Hi! My very own bug fan club. Which I mostly just destroyed with one attack. Off I pot analyzed. Ah uh, yeah, I missed something. Oh well. Oops. Outside. It's just way too gloomy in those dungeons. Um, but yeah, we have... By the way, what's your deal? Why are you, why are you sitting on that? Huh? Hi! Hi! Seeker, why did you disturb my meditation? Hi? For no reason, please be more considerate in the future. Tch. 
Well. Now we can use our blue ice shade and unlock this path of the track for us. And we still got about 20 minutes or so before break. Let's go take a look at this Maroon Valley. Oh right, the quiz. Never mind. That's how we're gonna end this part. We're gonna take a quiz. Which, why am I running for there? So I remember all of my buttons. So there, there are a lot of buttons. Considering that I didn't remember that there was a quiz, I don't fancy my chances here, but we'll see. Hello, my dears. So how about it? Did you complete the temple mine? We, we did indeed. Wonderful. So are you ready to take the quiz? Yeah, I'm ready. How about you, Leah? Let's do this. Very well. We'll hold the quiz over there in the seminar room. And of course, both of, we, both of you will be tested separately. Who wants to go first? Oh, I'm fine with going first. Is that okay, Leah? Alrighty, look at the others. Hey there. I see you're about to take that quiz uh, to, do, to join this deal, right? But I was thinking, would it not be challenging to answer the questions with your current vocabulary? Uh-oh. So you forgot about that, huh? Look, it is okay there. They would have found out about your speech malfunction sooner or later anyway. Just remember, these these kinds of things happen to players. I just hope you'll be able to you'll still be able to take this quiz somehow. Yeah, I did it! I passed! Come on, you're up next. What's wrong? You look very nervous. Don't worry, the quiz is super simple. I'm sure you can do it. Leah dear, now it's your turn. I hope you read all those text tables next to the statue and the temple mine. Today's quiz is all about the god Diaro. Don't worry, it'll just be four simple questions. Are you ready? Alrighty. First question. Now, Diaro is one of the gods of shapes. Now, what shape did he represent? Uh, I don't think any of these are the correct answer. Leah. Um, yes, Leah dear, that's your name. Should should I repeat the question? What shape does Tiara represent? Bye. Yeah, is everything all right? Oh, something's wrong here. I sort of noticed it before. Leah, you can't really speak, can you? Oh dear. Is it a speech, uh, speech module malfunction? Ah, oh, Jung. I thought they had managed to fix those, those issues. I mean, it's sort of weird that you can still say those few words. Did they have some kind of workaround? Sure, you came to that conclusion yourself. We'll go with that. I can't believe it. How did I not know this, notice this before? Yeah, dear, I'm so sorry. Well, still, the, there's that's no reason to cancel the quiz. Easy, we'll just make it multiple choice. Yeah, dear, I'm sure you can still count with your fingers, right? Wonderful. Well, then all I have to do is give you four options, eh? Okay, let me think. Here we go. What shape does Diara represent? A square, B triangle, C pentagon, or D sphere? Uh, he is the god of the square. Alrighty, next question. 
Diara is known as the creator of Solid Surface. So what exactly did Diara create? A. Mountains, B. Plants, C. Animals, or D. The Sun? I seem to recall the talk about um, the DR creating mountains. This is the big thing that he did. Good. So what was next? Ah yes. There was this time Anel and Diara were together, eh? What did they create? A. Waterfalls, B. Volcanoes, B. Black Holes, or D. Um, green Puffs. <laughs> Really, Buggy, don't make it too easy for her. Well, I suppose it's clear that option D is not correct anyway. Well then, Leah, what did Anel and Dior create together? You can't answer Cream Pops. You don't get to answer again. <laughs> um, just to be safe, just to make sure that I actually get this, uh, the actual answer is Volcano. Very nice. Final question. Remember when Diarbus tried to convince Diaro that the Ancients are ready for their journey? He showed him one of the Ancients' achievements. What was it? A. They built huge cities. B. They traveled through the air. C. They reached the highest mountain. Or D. They tamed the wildest animals. They reached the highest mountain. Wonderful. All right, that's it. The quiz is over, and you passed. Congrats! Congratulations. Not bad. You answered all four questions correctly. Just wonderful. Yes, yes. That's all about Diaro. Oh wait, I think I have a small bonus question for you. Diaro is a god of shape, representing the square. So, which class has been founded to honor Diaro? A tribe leader. <laughs> tribe leader. A tribe leader. B quadrigard. C pentafist. Or D hexacast. Well, it probably is the the four one. The so quadrigard. Correct. Quadrigard is the class of the square. And yes, that's my class. Just like the R's creations, quadrigards are known for their stamina and endurance. That's why we're the traditional tanks in your party. Well then, I think it's time for I think it's time to make you and Emily official members of the first scholars. Let's go. I'm kind of surprised it took this long to address the protagonist speaking about three things. It is my greatest pleasure to announce two new members of the first scholars. Emilianator the Pinifus and Leah the Sparamancer. Let's work together to contribute to our understanding of the ancients. And, you know, and just have a good time, eh? Merci beaucoup. It's great to join you guys. So I suppose we'll see each other more more often from now on. That's right. So you should join our party already. I think you still need to catch up to my level first. Oh come on. Anyone else, maybe? Well, most of us are far ahead in levels. Oh, but there's still Trani. Oh, the other new member? Yes, he hasn't been online the last few days, but he told me he'd show up again tomorrow. I'm sure he'd gladly join your party. Said yeah. Well then. Well done, everyone. I really have to bow down now. You know, we just rushed the whole temple mine and did that quiz in one session. I'm currently seeing the sun rising. I really should try to get some sleep. Ah yes, real life is calling. Well then, good night, Emily. And I hope to see you again soon. Oh, of course, so va, everyone. And yeah, don't forget about the next dungeon. You know how it goes, wait. No starting without me. Bye. Bye bye. Leah, dear, do you plan to log out as well? Yes, yes, we should. Alrighty! I'm sorry about your speech module issue, dear. And I want you to know this doesn't really matter to us. You're a member of the First Scholars, so you're always welcome. And if you have any problems whatsoever, we're here to help. 
That's right. I'm sure things will work out just fine. Bye. Bye. Goodbye, dear. Ciao. I am honestly relieved. You're lucky you have to have such to have found such a nice guild. Hold on. I will I will log you out now. Good night, Leo. Bye. Uh, did Leo just talk to somebody? Penguins. Random chair. Penguins on mountains. I'm not kidding. I know. They had plenty of strange ideas. Apparently that's what people like these days. <laughs> yeah. I know it can be a tad lonely. But it's a small price to pay. After all, we're about to revolutionize the entire field. I'm just glad we found somebody who embraces the potential. Good morning, Leah. Doing fine? So, I was wondering... Do you see anything when you're offline? You know, like dreams? Hmm, oh, did you see anything new that did not happen recently? Right, that means your memory really is returning. So is there anything yet that you clearly remember? Okay, I'm sure that will take some time. But it is good to know we are making progress. Oh, by the way, I managed to add a couple of new quirks. Alright, time for Word Count Plus Plus. So we got why and how. How? Huh? Why? Hi! So yes, I am working on adding all those questions. Why? Because that's how you ask basic questions? Because you ask basic questions that way, right? Why? Because you need question words to ask questions. Why? I regret adding this word already. Ah, <laughs> oh, I gotta love you, Leah. Anyway, our next destination is Bourbon Valley. You get there from going west from Bourbon. Unfortunately, it seems that Emily is offline at the moment. I'm sure she will show up sooner. Why, indeed. Um, wait a minute. How do we get out of here? I'm upstairs, aren't I? God dang it. The is over here. Okay. So now that we have the fire element, I think we should be able to get the burgundy throw. So we're gonna do that before break. Once I remember the correct button to use the menu. <laughs> I was expecting where before why, but what do I know? I'm not a high-tech futuristic dev guy. Pretty much plot convenient. And also partly comedic timing. I can hit that without 
disturbing anymore. Got it. Trying to get the uh forget what our botanics um progress is here. Yeah, we still need a lot of the Omega stuff. Probably not gonna spend a whole lot of time getting like a hundred percent botanics. I would like to get some of it at least. Not too close to an enemy that aggro's. Also, I just noticed there was another Omega there that I can't get anymore. Not unless I climb back up. also be able to traverse this area now. And that's regenerating. Hmm. Wait. Look at this bunny. Sure looks different, don't you think? You're not telling me there actually was a legendary bunny. Let's just agree, never do tell Gene, okay? Not like he could anyway, I guess. And he actually can't hurt this bunny. Definitely seems like something's gotta go down here at some point. I can't believe the bunny is the real villain of the game. <laughs> Makes for a good villain because it's, you know, I can't hurt it. Where is that cave? This one, I think. So there is a path that goes over here. 
I got a new keyboard. What kind of keyboard you got there? attached to your new oh okay oh what kind of laptop did you get okay so there's the pro oops Lydia please jump there we go a good one well, I should hope it's good I haven't heard of anyone buying a bad laptop on purpose. Alright, so we have all of the stuff that Henry is looking for. So we need to go back to Rising Path 1 and talk to him. Welcome back, Leah. Were you able to find all the data I requested? Marvelous! Thank you so much again. I'm sure they'll be happy with my results. <laughs> oh, bad wording. I mean the ancients, of course. Just take this, a small token of my gratitude. What's this guy's deal? Out of wonder. Out of wonder. Anyway, let's uh, put ourselves in position to head to Maroon Valley. That is absolutely not the right way to go. Who are you? Hi. Hi? Ah, hello. Sorry, I just went blank there for a second. I'm Citron, the other member of, of the First Scholars. Uh, Lynn just gave me your contact and told me to say hello. So, nice to meet you. Ah, uh, don't worry, they told me about your limited speech problem. But yes, we seem to be about the same level. So I could join your party, right? Anyway, I'm still busy today. But if you don't mind, I'll gladly God. If you don't mind, I'll gladly join tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. Would that be okay? No, okie dokie. Well then, see you tomorrow, Leah. Bye! Oh, so it looks like you might soon have a party of three. Very nice. That boy seems to be a hexacat. They are very useful to have at a party. Alright. So, we're about ready to um, head off to... What's his face? Uh, Maroon Valley. Maybe you'll run into Maroon 5. Who knows? But for now, it is time to take a break. So, now is the time for all good people to come to the aid of themselves, really, because, you know, just. Take a breather and go do anything that you might need to do that might take 10 to 15 minutes because that's the amount of time that y'all have 
for the break. And it seems that Tyrion won't be joining us after the break because uh, back is hurting, unfortunately. But uh, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. Uh, the second half, of course, will be available on the old VOD repo within the next couple of days, hopefully, if I don't slack on that. And uh, for the rest of y'all, after a 10-15 minute break, we'll be back with some more crosscode, so hang tight. 